Welcome to the class 2 of Medicinal Chemistry 1, Unit 5, Chapter 2, Narcotic and Non-Narcotic Analgesics. In the previous class we discussed about what are narcotic drugs, how they are obtained, how they act, what are the uses and side effects of narcotic drugs. Today we will discuss about some classes of narcotic drugs. As you know that morphine and related compounds like codeine, thebane, pepavarin are the alkaloids of opium which is obtained from from pepavar so many ferum that is from poppy seeds. Actually these are the derived from structural modification of morphine. Now the first category of narcotic uh, drugs is morphine and its related drug. The first compound is morphine. This is the structure of morphine. It contains a three aromatic rings joined together. It is fused aromatic ring which is called as phenantherin ring and a dihydrofuron that is a ether bridge is interconnected and the ring that is 14, 8, 16, 9 and 17 which forms is a piperidine ring. That ring is actually a part of the morphine usually it is called as morphinan there is a double bond at 7 and 8 position and at the 7th at the 17th position a methyl group is there that is connected to the attached to the nitrogen that nitrogen is a tertiary nitrogen in the third position a hydroxyl group is there and in the sixth position also one hydroxyl group is there so totally there are two hydroxyl groups are there on the third position the hydroxyl group which is present is a phenolic hydroxyl group and uh, on the sixth position the hydroxyl group present is an alcoholic hydroxyl group now coming to the numbering and IUPAC name of the morphine it is 7,8-dehydro 4,5-alpha epoxy 17 methyl morphinan 36 alpha diol sulfate as you know it is an extensively used as an analgesic it also poses anti tissue property it can be used with in conjugation with anesthesia and also it is a non specific anti diarrheal agent so for the loose motion and dysentery also it can be used and in small doses it, it is used uh, for dull pain whereas in large doses it can be used to relieve acute pain the second compound is the codeine codeine is similar to the structure of morphine but only the difference is in the third position morphine contains a phenolic hydroxyl group but codeine contains a methoxy group at the third position rest everything will be same structure uses and everything so IUPAC name of codeine is 7,8-dihydro 4,5-alpha epoxy 3-methoxy 17-methylmorphine 6-alpha all monohydrate it is also a narcotic analgesic drug with similar to the morphine but it is analgesic activity is relatively much much less and it exhibits only a mild sedative effect the second class of narcotic analgesic is mepiridine analog the first drug is pethidine it is also called as mepiridine hydrochloride mepiridine contains a piperidine ring 
to which a methyl group is attached at the first position it is ethyl 1 methyl 4 phenyl piperidine 4 carboxylate it may be used to relieve a variety of moderate to severe pain including pain of labor and post operative pain Betadine has atropine like action on a smooth muscle that is atropine is an anticholinergic drug and those actions will be similar can be seen while pethidine is injected and it is normally used to induce both sedation and analgesia simultaneously the next drug is aniliridine hydrochloride it is also contains a piperidine ring the difference between pethidine or mepiridine and aniliridine is only a a phenyl amino group with an ethyl group it is attached rest will be the same it is 1 to 4 amino phenyl ethyl 4 phenyl ethyl ester dihydrochloride it is also a narcotic analgesic having similar structure to the pethidine and possesses an action also similar but its analgesic effect is longer duration comparing to the mepiridine. The next drug is diphenoxylate hydrochloride. It is a general drug available in the market in the name of a lomotil or lomofen which is extensively used for loose motions. It is also contains a piperidine ring as you have seen in the mep mepiridine. And the fourth position a carboxylate and phenyl group is also going to be present. It is same except that a cyano group is attached at the third position. This is the carbon. So between two phenyl groups are there. So it is ethyl 1 3 cyano 3 3 diphenyl propyl. 4 phenyl piperidine 4 carboxylate now as I told that diphenoxylate lomotil is also a analogs of pethidine with some analgesic effect but mostly used in the treatment of diarrhea and associated with gastroenteritis that is in the dysentery it is used and uh, irritable bowel and acute infection hypermotility ulcerative colitis and uh, sometimes even in food poisoning it is used the next drug is fentanyl citrate so fentanyl citrate is a propionamide derivative it is also contains a piperidine ring and with a phenyl ethyl group is attached so only on the fifth position the carboxylate has been changed to hydroxy 1 3 propane carboxylate so it is n phenyl n 1 2 phenyl ethyl 4 piperidinyl 2 hydroxy 1 2 3 propane tricarboxylate it is a potent narcotic analgesic primarily employed as an analgesic for the arrest of pain after all surgical procedure it means after the surgery fentanyl citrate has been injected to overcome the pain it possesses an inherent rapid onset and shorter duration of action it may be employed also as an adjuvant to all such drugs mostly used for the regional and general anesthetic so in conjugation with or in additional with anesthetic drug this fentanyl citrate also will be used the next drug is loperamide 
Loperamide also contains a piperidine ring. It is 4-chlorophenyl, four, 4-hydroxypiperidine, four 1-eel, N-N-dimethyl, 2-2-diphenyl butamide. It is used as a safe and effective opiate derivative with peripheral mu opiate and weak anticholinergic property. Now we will see the fentanyl synthesis. It is just a three step. So in the first step, propionyl chloride is reacted with N-phenylpiperidine 4 amine. It is a condensation reaction where propionyl chloride is condensed with N-phenylpiperidine 4 amine. Hydrochloric acid will be released and we will get N4 piperidyl propionylite. This N4 piperidyl propionylite is condensed with phenyl ethyl chloride. It gives fentanyl. When it is treated with citric acid, you will get a salt of fentanyl citrate. This is the synthesis of fentanyl citrate. Thank you very much.